In this unit, we are going to spend our time talking about a triangle. A triangle is defined as this. It's a polygon, and you'll talk more about polygons later in the course, but a polygon is a figure that has sides. So a triangle is a polygon with three sides. And if it has three sides, it also has three angles. Now, we're going to use the triangle that's shown here. And so to name a triangle, what we use is we use the symbol for a triangle and then the points that make the corners of the triangle are part of the name. So the triangle that you see is triangle PMZ. Now, it doesn't matter how we put the letters in order or those points in order as long as we have all three corners. Now those corners of the triangle are actually called vertices. So the vertices of the triangle are P, M, and Z, separated by commas. Now the sides of the triangle are these three right here. So to name those sides, we name them as segments. So we have Segment PM is a side of the triangle, as is segment PZ, and finally, segment MZ. Now, if a triangle has three sides, it also has three angles, and so those angles would be written with the angle symbol. Angle P, angle M, and angle Z. So that's how we can name the parts of a triangle. We're going to talk more specifically about those parts of a triangle here soon. So let's talk about classifying triangles. Now, one way to classify triangles is to classify triangles by their sides. So one word that we have and one way to classify triangles is to call them scalene triangles. Now, scalene triangles have three non-congruent sides or angles, I guess you could say as well. Now, we show this by marking off the sides using different markings. So this triangle is scalene because all three sides have different markings, thus that means that the three sides aren't the same. Next we have an isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle has two congruent sides. The two congruent sides in, a, in an isosceles triangle, and I'm going to mark down here, are shown like that, which means this third side is different. Now, the legs of an isosceles triangle are the two congruent sides. And what we'll also learn soon is that the angles opposite those two congruent sides are also congruent as well. So not only are there two congruent sides, but there are two congruent angles as well. Equilateral triangles. Equilateral triangles. All sides are congruent. Which means they're all marked off the same. Which means all the angles are the same as well. So to classify a triangle by its sides, it can be called scalene, isosceles, or equilateral. Now the sum of the angles inside of a triangle is, do you know, 180 degrees. And we're going to spend some time talking about the sum of the angles inside a triangle a little bit more. But for now, remember, they add up to 180 degrees, the three angles do. Which leads us into another way we can classify triangles, and that's by their angles. And let's spend some time talking about that. 
acute triangles. If we're talking about acute triangles, these are triangles with all acute angles. Remember, acute means less than 90 degrees. So if I drew a triangle and put angles in here, I could say, okay, well, this angle right here is 50. And maybe this angle up here is 60, and this angle right here is 70. You notice all angles are less than 90, and you also notice that if you add all three of these angles together, that they add up to 180 degrees. A right triangle is defined as a triangle with one right angle. And so we could draw a right triangle such as this, and we can put a 90 degree angle right there. Now a right triangle can't have more than one right angle because if you had two right angles, 90 plus 90 is 180, you couldn't have a third angle. It would be zero. Obtuse triangles is our third category. And obtuse triangles have or are triangles with one obtuse angle. It can be drawn something like so. And maybe this angle is 140 and this angle is 30, and this angle is 10. There can't be more than one obtuse angle because that would put the sum of the angles inside of the triangle way over 180 degrees. And our last category is equiangular. Equiangular triangles have all congruent angles. And they're going to look like this. Now, if it's equiangular, it's also equilateral. And so, since all an equiangular triangle or equilateral triangle has all congruent angles, that means each angle is 60 degrees, because 60 times 3 is 180. Now, there's, there's this word regular that we use from time to time, and regular means just what we just talked about. A regular figure in geometry has all congruent sides and all congruent angles. Therefore, a triangle that's equilateral and equiangular is also regular. So let's put a few of these pieces together right now. If we were to do this first item here, classify a triangle that has side lengths of 2 inches, 3 inches, and 4 inches. Well, if we have lengths such as that, all the lengths are different, we could classify this triangle for sure as a scalene triangle. Second, what if we were to sketch a triangle with the proper markings, that is isosceles, and obtuse. Well first I'd want to make sure I had two congruent sides and one really big angle. So if I made my big angle first now if it's isosceles the two congruent sides have to make the obtuse angle because this side right here opposite the obtuse angle is going to have to be pretty big. So this triangle is definitely isosceles, and if we put some angle measures in here, such as maybe that angle right there is 120, that leaves me 60 degrees left, so if I split 60 in half, that means both of those are 30s. So that adds up to 180 degrees right there. And finally, classify a triangle that has angle measures of 35, 110, and 35. Well, guess what? It's what we just drew. It has two angles that are the same. So we could say that it is isosceles. And because it has one angle bigger than 90, we could also state that it is 
obtuse. Now you'll learn more rules about triangles as we go, but this is a, a, a big building block in terms of mathematics and, and, and how our world is constructed today.